Hello and welcome back to the ever-changing ways. This is the heir of Zinchage. Yet yeah, Z Zinches. The Zinch of Carthage. Salt of Change. I don't know. Whatever you all want to give me as a title here. Uh, we are back with Kairos Fate Reaver, and we are back to the lands of mortals after having defeated Korn's gatekeeper in the realm of the Blood God. We are ready to continue our efforts uh, to basically turn the world into our little plan here in the ever-changing ways. Now, it's actually kind of good, speaking of changing ways, for us to not be at war with certain people because we can just kind of continue to abuse um, transfer settlement, which I totally intend to do. I mean, oh no, not me. I'm going to cause a rebellion back here just because I can. We've got uh, plenty of grimoires, so let's do that. And we're going to save up to uh, take away a settlement. We're going to keep giving our enemies some trouble over here. These ogre lands do look decent for capture. Could be Skaven, or they're destroyed here, but I mean, that's another province that's mostly hospitable to us. We could put underneath our boot and use to gain some extra territory and cash. Now, I'd love to be hitting Cathay, but without being able to fund up a pretty enormous army, then I just don't see we got so lightning strike upkeep let's keep working this line here i like this called by change so we can reduce the upkeep cost of our army and get a second army started i really want to get a second army started i think we're going to do um patchy as a character because we haven't had him in a long time and then we'll put some of the names that you'll put to use and create some more fun characters to be in patchy's army so that we can do some fun storytelling with that hope you all are looking forward to it make sure you stick around um, when we get there, it's going to be pretty awesome. Let's go with Earthing. And then Kill Scribe levels up again. Get his Arcane Conduits. So, Kairos and his army in pretty solid shape. We're about to have a Corn Rebellion up at the City of Splinters again. Let me go ahead and move that way. There's a lot of um, Corn Corruption, but it's on the way down uh, because we... Got rid of the, the portals and gateways and stuff. We've got a decent bit of cash. We should be able to start spending here. Let's see. Um, we've got some Cornish minions that came out. What's floating mountain look like here. Oh, we got pretty good defenses there. It's nothing to sneeze at. Okay. So, we are spreading a ton of Zinch corruption. However, somehow Nurgle is ascendant in the games. I don't believe that. CA, please. You're not convincing me. Ollery still does not have enough uh, to grow, so let's spend a little cash on the growth there. I'm going to spend a little extra cash on improving our income. In fact, we're just going to improve everything we can here. And I'll sit on the rest. Except for, let's see, Floating Mountain. It's the one that has the army next to it. Look down here. Uh, let's go ahead and get some extra growth at the City of Splinters. And now let's end the turn once we pick some technology. Speaking of tech, I'm going to do this Casualty Replenishment rank in, uh, uh, Rate on Forsaken. Should be kind of... Oh, and this one right here, the minus 3% upkeep, so we'll want to go to that. So let's see if we can get that unlocked. All right. For the betterment of Everything's for the betterment of Zinch Kairos. What do y'all think of this campaign so far? I mean, I am really enjoying Zinch. I, I could just tell when I saw the barriers, and when I saw the magic missiles and the way they were going to play, that Zinch was going to be probably one of the most unique factions we've ever seen. And I have to say, it didn't disappoint when I got hands on with it. It definitely lived up to that expectation that I had. So I'm, I'm really excited for y'all to try Zinch. That's funny coming from me because, like I said, I wasn't crazy into the Chaos factions uh, when we came into this. Like, they just weren't particularly interesting. Um, but man, Zinch kind of caught my eye. I tried it, and I am glad we tried it because it has been a ton of fun. We've got our soul. We left our realm. Other people are still roaming in their realms. Let's go up here to the City of Splendors. Let this rebellion go a little farther, and then we'll kill it and put it down. Awesome building stuff going on there. Now let's go back down here. Erak Doom is sieged by a huge army of ogres. I don't think there's any changing of ways here that's going to save us, unfortunately. 
Oh, we need to be further south in a hurry, and I already moved north. Um, let's check out the garrison at the City of Splinters. It's really not bad. So let's let's just abandon that and let's beeline it down here to Karak Doom to save it from these ogres. And then let's go ahead and go punch these ogres in the face. We're not going to take any more of that crap off of them. What else can we build? Let's go ahead and focus on growth and income. I'm going to save that growth for the uh, the main settlement here at Zerr. Cerulus. Outpost. I don't need an outpost right now because I don't tend to really do any recruiting from it. Yeah, so Kairos has been really fun to play. The changing the ways is a really neat mechanic. Um, been enjoying it a lot so far. A lot of options there for you to tinker and toy with your enemies. Big fan of it. Defensive Alliance. Yes, please. So that'll be another thing to kind of help keep Cathay and check if they come across their bastion and come after us. I don't want to wound Kill Scribe for Grimoires. That's never worth it. Let's give him the extra experience because we like our Kill Scribe. We want to take good care of him. It shall be. We are trucking it down here to try and beat back these ogres. But our poor garrison is no match for that. And then there's Greenskins down here as well. Grizzguts. Not the same Grizzguts we've seen in the Realm of Corn, but Grizzguts is down here. And we're, of course, automatically at war with them as well. We're missing a couple of units, and... I think I'm going to just move in a standard... Would just move in a standard stance, but we gotta get down here. Like, I'd like to recruit some units, but we've gotta, we've gotta close the distance. I'm not worried about not having a ton of units. I mean, I'm a little worried because that's a absolute crap load of ogre bulls. They got nobbler trappers. We need to get down there and stop them, that's for sure. We don't have a good army for fighting ogres. It's not what we want, but we'll just make it work. Leech uh, is distinctly lacking a lot of anti-large. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to save my growth there. Let's get the outpost again. Let's end our turn. Those ogres, I'm surprised they haven't already attacked me. An aggression pact. I don't really know why you need that. Yeah, they should have already attacked Karab Doom. They have the capability to take it out. A little confused why the AI is taking its time there. Because it's just giving me an opportunity to get in position to kill them as soon as they're doing what they're doing. I think I'm going to flip over into global. Take a couple of turns, but let's be honest, like, we're not really ready to fight all those ogres in our current condition. Thinking about picking up either a couple of exalted pinks or picking up a flamer and an exalted pink. The flamers, if they sit behind my line, can cause tremendous damage to the ogre units as they in the combat. But then the pinks are also really good. And it's, the exalteds take too long, actually. I mean, we could just get a couple of blues real quick and then have a line of blues to absorb the front charge. Nah, that's not going to work great based on the way we have our army. Our army is more built for countering corn at the moment. Um, at least in that battle. Let's go ahead and... I think I'm just going to add a couple of pinks because they can sit back behind a line and shoot and potentially cause a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and make that recruiting effort. And Kill Scribe leveled up because we helped get him a whole bunch of extra uh, experience points with that dilemma. Eight of Zinch summons a unit of pink horrors, summons a Lord of Change. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. I have to spend three skill points here. Pink horrors summons great over time. So, okay, we get extra uses for it. Now that's nice. Let's put our skill points in that because summoning a Lord of Change would be huge. I'm not interested in your outpost right now. Say that. I wonder if we could get Marauder Spears. 
The Marauder Horsemen, because those would be good against Ogres. Uh, the Marauder Spears would be okay at, like, kind of serving as bait to slow the Ogres down. Right, so they're going to take over Karak Doom. We've got two enemy armies there. Got a Nurgle army in our way as well. I guess I'll start taking non-aggression packs with these Norskin tribes. I may have to break them later. We've got enough enemies at the moment. I wonder if these guys would be interested in peace? No. Because then it would be funny to make peace with them and then use my ability to just steal the settlement back. That would be pretty hilarious, in fact. So Kugath Kamod Papa is here. Don't really know why or what he's up to. It says we're going to be defeated if we attack them here. You have a lot more pinks than we do. And they have the screamers. We'd rather fight this defensively, so let's decline. Well, if we decline the attack, then they're just going to keep getting stronger. I'm trying to think the best way to do this. That is just so many pinks. Like, that is... Ooh, yeah, that is going to be rough. I'm trying to think whether this is possible. It may be. All right, well, the garrison army of the City of Splinters is in for it here. This is going to be a very difficult battle for them. We are outnumbered. But you know what? Sometimes ways can be mysterious, and we can change them. I do have a strategy put together. I'm rolling my Forsaken of Zinch and my uh, Chaos Warriors uh, with great weapons on my right flank. And the idea is that I'm going to use these blue horrors to draw the attention of the enemy army while I move into melee on the right flank. And then there is an interesting little terrain feature here. It's this giant pit up here that's going to be used. My pink horrors are outnumbered by their own, but remember that these things outrange their own blue horrors. The AI is going to be playing defensively because I attacked them, and so I intend to use this to my advantage. So I'm going to move my pink horrors up. And try and get a multiple engagement, like meaning more than one of my units firing on one of theirs. Um, and just basically kind of do this like Empire Total War, where it's all about timing your volleys right, using your range right, and making the other person screw up about when they shoot back or when they move. And so I'm hoping that it will work, because as you can see, that is a huge line of pink horrors, and that, that can kill me in a big hurry if I make a mistake, all those pink horrors. They also have some screamers it would do decently in melee with all of my horrors. So I have to be careful about how and when I let those things come and try to engage me. We want to keep them off of our ranged units. So I'm going to get lined up and take my time. You can see they've got uh, this iridescent horror leading their army. And we're, is it exalted iridescent? I don't remember the name of it anyway. I've got an iridescent horror. Mine's an iridescent horror. I don't, I don't remember what theirs is. We'll go check it out real quick. A Herald of Zinch, my bad. They've got a Herald of Zinch leading their army, and I have the Iridescent Horror. He's uh, flipping through his spell book here, figuring up what he wants to do, but of course always changing his mind because that's just the Zinchy way. So it's getting into a standoff here. My army's moving up. I'm going to fast forward and then show you how this engagement goes. Actually, no, I think it gets started right here. So yep, AI makes the first mistake here. And they've moved units into range without getting the first volley. But now I do have to be careful about where my units are assigned to fire because I don't want to get one of my units wrecked. So as my barriers get a little bit weak, I'll draw one unit back, force the AI forward, and try and get them to switch their fire where basically I'm trying to get the AI to use all of their missiles into just my barrier. And then I'm trying to get my missiles to actually start killing some of them. And we're in pretty good shape. Let me that you will see how this one's playing out. See their pink horror is already getting wrecked. They have a blue horror getting wrecked. On the other flank, I'm still just moving into position. So with a couple of engagements here, I've lost almost nothing. And again, you can see now I'm falling back. With these two units to let their barrier uh, re replen, and they're going to follow to try and shoot. That's just going to bring more of their units out of position. And then once they pick a new target, I'll just move back forward and start shooting again. And that should get my barrier back up. See, now the AI is repositioning. This is something they do. They're very particular 
uh, wanting to be in perfect positioning. See, now this pink core takes a devastating first volley from two of my own, and its barrier is down, and it's now extremely weak, whereas my barrier is coming back up. They've moved a blue horror forward and are now in really poor position with it. So this is very good for me. I've already killed two of their units, and I've got two more to death throws again. See, I'm going to pull this one back. I'm not going to sit there and fight without a barrier and give them a bunch of free kills on me. At this point, they pull their screamers forward, and I'm going to have to use my furies to intercept these screamers. I can't let these things kill my pink horrors. It's too important. So I'm going to use my furies and push back their screamers. And again, the favorable engagements continue for me. They've got a blue horror now that's getting destroyed. And then their pink horror back here is all also nearly destroyed. So that's four units now in my favor. I've taken minimal damage. I had a blue horror start to come under fire and again, backed it up to keep in safety. The AI though started to move here. I started to push forward, but then realized they would be in position first. So never let your uh, army take the volleys. Now over here on the other flank, I have been using my units to kind of bait and switch these pink horrors, and that helped me get my Forsaken of Zinch in close. You can see why I needed to get close, because they are going to take damage, but when these uh, Forsaken of Zinch get into melee, they're going to shred these horrors. They go right through the barrier and let them have it. So now my right flank plan is coming into play, and my left flank plan is finding huge success. So what I thought was going to be a very difficult battle is now actually kind of turning into a massacre. Uh, in the favor of me. So the ways have been changed indeed. Zinch flipping Zinch here, right? So that's like change X machina here. Like we've we've got we've got all the change going. We took the changers and changed their plan, changing it against them, and now it's in our favor. So like I said, there is no shortage of change going on. You can see uh, I've got my units over here again playing the whole bait and switch thing with the barriers. When one's barrier gets weak, I fall back. The other one starts to come back up. So I'm mostly taking damage to my barrier and keeping these units busy so that they can't fire into my melee blob over here. They did finally start to do that, but as they shoot into my melee blob, I'll push forward and start to shoot at them too. Um, and at this point, uh, they're getting wrapped up pretty hard. They've only got two pinks and a few uh, blues, one of which is about to basically uh, crumble apart here. So I'm now going to be able to bring in four against one with my pinks. So they're going to have one uh, go four against one. I brought in my Chaos Furies. I did manage to draw some magic there, and I'm going to keep this pink horror busy. So now I've got the Supremacy over here for sure. Look at this engagement over here. They just get slaughtered. So they're outnumbered. Now my blue horrors can move into range. And then the melee is going extremely good for me. My Chaos Warriors are forsaken, just absolutely hacking through. Like I said, this looked like it was going to be a very difficult battle, and instead just turned out to be an all-out slaughter. So we know who the true changer of ways is, and it wasn't the rebels outside the City of Splinters. It was definitely my armies. So this was an epic victory for us, and an important one. We're not going to lose our settlement, and the enemy army is going to be utterly destroyed here. You can see I just put some magic missiles into their lord as well. What few units they have left are now under horrendous bunch of fire from my blue horrors. And that leaves just the enemy um, Herald of Zinch here. He's doing his best to use his magic to get us. Uh, this little pink fellow is about to get turned blue. I see a pink enemy and I want him painted blue. <laughs> so that's going to be the end of that Herald and a big victory for us. That was a fun way of making the AI pay severe prices for not being in the right positioning with their magic volleys and then the use of our barrier by entering and exiting combat as it makes sense. I'm going to take the extra cash from all that. I'm not really worried about the replenishment right now because it was a pretty thorough rebellion. So that is a huge win for us and leaves us in a much better position to face off against the ogres and everything that's going on down there. So now the City of Splinters can be improved, the next tier settlement. I'm excited about that. Um, let's see here. We've got income, the growth, and barrier replenishment stuff here, the extra income. And I'm saving the growth here to go into the main settlement. Um, not, you have this one built up, so I'll go ahead and build the defenses there at the Challenge Stone. Snag the extra growth. And the Volary. The undefeated. Where's it at? 
further south, okay. Colliery, yeah, we've still got um, five turns till we get enough growth points. So we're getting closer. Let's end this one. Well, that was a really solid victory for us at the City of Splinters. That was excellent. I thought it was going to be much tougher than that, and I will take... I'll take that kind of victory anytime. Happy to have it, in fact. Okay, I wonder if our teleport ability, if we can attack through it. I haven't tried that yet. Old Tooth entered the realm of the Plague Lord. Good for him. Alright. This city is plagued. The ogres look like they're crossing over, maybe headed that direction. I can't tell which side of the river they're on. I think it's this one, though, so I'm going to head into this uh, terrain here and lay an ambush for the ogres. Let's see if we can out zinch them here. Speaking of out zinch, we can now transfer another settlement into our delicate care. Which settlement would we want to transfer? Is there something... Or... I don't want these plague losers all over the edge of me here. They're already suffering from Zinch uh, rebellions. We've got a Zinchy ally nearby. We can also put in a cult here. Magic adjacent provinces would be pushed up to Tempestuous, and that would be nice. I wonder if it doesn't last just a certain amount of time. It looks like it's. Basically all the time when magic grimoires, grimoires, income when winds of magic are strong. Let's try this. It'd be fun. Let's switch over to the settlement details here. Now that is the settlement I could give myself. Actually, let's, let's go out of here and stop that. Um, unless the cult building stays, after we hand it to ourselves. Let's see. I'm gonna snag this settlement for the Oracles of Zinch. We have 10 enemies. Does this. Oh no, it's just giving us a detail here. Cooldown duration, Grimoire cost. Let's do it. Let's hand ourselves another settlement. There are some Zinch rebels nearby, uh, which is not great for us, but we do have a small garrison. Make some income and stuff there. So we're growing income. We took a settlement away from the pox makers. The make oh, you know what we could do? Let's use our grimoires here to deal faction intentions. Ogres at the saber skin. And did, did it work? Skin. Worm. Those callers shall not like they're wanting to attack them for us. See anything else drawn on the map here? Go ahead and end our turn. See if we can lure Groth in closer. Did not continue along the path that I expected. Looks like he went back to his hidey hole as he's facing a Zinch rebellion. Go ahead and move up and continue to lay ambush for Groth. He moves out of there. Hopefully we can get him. I mean, this settlement looks pretty vulnerable, so I'm hoping it would be tempting to him. Well, these guys didn't come and siege me, so that's good. If we get our defenses in place, they should be more than safe. It means that we got away with another settlement there, and I like it. And finally, build up the Valery. The higher tier, which would give us access to better units, or we could just build another army with lower tier units. Which I think we should probably get focused on at least a second army. 
would be nicer to have higher tier units though. But Zinch is kind of strange in the way their units are anyway. It's not like we're gonna get anything besides a soul grinder that might have a little staying power. Not to say that isn't useful, because the soul grinders are quite useful indeed. All right, we did not get an ambush here. Looks like he's after Kugath. Can you attack in the teleport stance? Time to can. It says this is going to be low casualties for us. I don't know if they're smoking, because uh, it seems like we're going to take a lot of casualties personally. But uh, let's play it nonetheless, get you all some battle footage. Yeah, I didn't realize that teleportation would get us into an uh, ambush battle against the ogres. Look at this. Frost here just... His world is in flames as this battle opens. He gets hit by... Follies off of two blue horrors and gets hit by flamers. He is in a world of hurt right now. Look at the hit points just melting off of Grot. And then the uh, Nobbler Trappers really taking the worst of it right there, too. So just... Brutal opening salvo. I've got a firestorm of Zinch going. Over here is the charge of the ogres. So they're just coming straight at me with all these ogre bulls. And I'm gonna stop them now with screamers. I'm gonna fall back with my pink horrors and get into position. I'm casting some spells at the moment, so that's why it's going slow. Um, it does that uh, even in the replay. You can see I've got the hot rod up there shooting its uh, warp fire down here, and then I've used Kairos, my screamers, to hold these guys in position. That is a giant blob of ogres, and then look, Kill Scribe back here, getting his flaming magic ready. And he is going to unleash the piercing bolts of burning. It'll be a lot of burning. Some of it pink, some of it blue, and now some of it orange. So, quite the color swatch of burning that the ogres are taking. With Groth dead, and their army taking massive damage now from my pink horrors, and the burning bombardments from Kill Scribe, who is now chasing off the routing ogre bulls. This is going to be another massive victory for us, one that I didn't expect to go this well. But again, I guess sometimes the ways change, and Zinch knows, right? Kairos can see the future. He knows how these things are going to work. All right, another excellent victory for us there, changing the fates of the ogres in a way that they certainly didn't wish to experience. One that I'm totally fine with. So we can get extra punishment or we can get extra favor. We're just going to take the favor at this point. We don't really need a lot of replenishment. That's going to be a crushing victory for us and a devastating defeat for the ogres. That uh, teleport thing is great. Immune to attrition, and um, we got an ambush there for having taken them on uh, in an attack. So I'm going to have to try that teleport thing more often because uh, that was pretty awesome. Let's do this called by chain, start dropping the upkeep cost of our army. That's gonna ready the way for a second army. And let's go ahead and grab Zinch's Firestorm with Krang so we can have that. And get double set up here. Income is good, rebels are growing, but we did finish our defenses here, so now we've got decent defenses. The planes that we stole from uh, stole from the uh, Nurglings, and I'm totally fine with that, by the way. Stealing from Nurgle factions is totally good. Speaking of Nurgle factions, y'all want to check me out on Wednesday. I'm going to be on the Total War Twitch channel. I'll be streaming some Nurgle gameplay uh, of all ironies. I'm always complaining about him when I play against him, but uh, like I said, yeah, that's the ultimate irony. I'm going to be playing as him on the stream. Need these ogres madness. I want my settlement back. I should be able to get it. Oracle of Sirac Doom. Let's go in here and take our settlement back. It's going to be relatively easy. I'm going to auto resolve that. I'm going to occupy. So, defeated a large army of the Saberskins, and that leaves me in a position to go invade their lands on the next episode. I'm going to continue to use the Changing of the Ways to snag this province over here, which is Kdatha. 
So I'll use the changing of the ways to keep snagging settlements and growing that while we're over here. I've got the money coming in to where we should be able to get a second army now, which I'm pretty darn pumped for. And we've got some settlements that are headed towards level four. This we got a bunch of friends over here helping to bust into Cathay, so looks like it may be a party in Cathay soon, too. So you all keep an eye out. I know this episode is going to be a little bit short, but I am also short on time to record. I hope you enjoyed it. We're making progress nonetheless as Zinch, and I will see you next time for more Changing of the Ways.